Hello, it's good to be with you again. Uh, today I'd like to explain a little more detail what exactly is happening inside the Fibonacci rotary vane engine. As you can see in the photo of the engine, uh, you'll note the very center point actually is slightly above uh, the uh, center point of what would be the outside housing. That's what we call an offset rotor. And the offset rotor uh, to the housing allows for an, a shape inside the engine which provides a shape that gives us what some would call, even though it's not a proper term, vapor hydraulics. I'll explain more about that later. But as you see this configuration right now, you see a, the engine uh, inside a simulation with a rotation with vanes sliding in and out of what are called rotor vane slots. And as you witness this, note the shape of the chamber created by in between, in between the veins. That shape is a greater surface area at the uh, trailing side versus the upper edge of the vein. And what this allows is what's called an adiabatic expansion of the vapor. Let me also add, as you're looking at this clip, at this uh, photo, you're looking at uh, the testing that we did on the Fibonacci rotary vane expander engine. And this shows a stress test of the engine. Uh, this graph also is another example of uh, hundreds from the result of hundreds of test runs testing uh, the uh, vane uh, and torque power. At about 200 PSI, you're looking at approximately 600 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, you're now seeing the video uh, in my backyard, in fact, of the rotary vane engine running. I'm running it on nitrogen at this time. The battery is not running the engine. <clears throat> I simply have the battery hooked up so the alternator doesn't get burned out. And as you witness this, you're seeing uh, the shaft turning on both sides. On the front side would be, right now we're looking at what I call the back side of the engine. On the front side, you're seeing an alternator being run. And uh, this can be hooked to an alternator, can be uh, hooked to an electric motor, can be hooked to anything that would uh, use utilize uh, electricity. There are 10 key components to the engine. And I just mentioned one today, which is the rotor and then the other I uh, mentioned was the, the vein. The sliding vein with patents pending uh, provide us a great deal of uh, torque power. Thanks for being with us and uh, check the website www.fibonacciengine.fibonacciemotors.com.